Hi, my name is Willie Green. I'm 18 years old, and I'm the editor-in-chief and founder of We The Urban Magazine. Well, We The Urban started in 2009 when I was 15, and I kind of had like way too much free time on my hands. And I guess this was like right before Tumblr exploded. So um, I guess being at the forefront of anything, you kind of get a head start. I started posting about fashion, and then that's when I started learning more about design and art, and then We The Urban kind of just turned into what it is now. Um, after like doing it for a year and getting like so many hundreds of thousands of followers on the Tumblr, um, I decided I wanted to take it to the next level, and uh, a magazine just seemed like the right thing to do, so. As editor-in-chief, um, every day is like really different for me. Um, there's a lot of reaching out to people, reaching out to photographers, um, reaching out to writers, working with writers, coming up with stories for the issue. Obviously, um, posting on the site, I'm still the only person that uh, does the whole blog. And um, a lot of coordinating with the designer as well for the magazine, because he's in London. So it's just a lot of, uh, a lot of communication back and forth. Uh, I do think of myself as an artist because, well, I didn't originally, or I didn't, I guess I was an artist all along, but I didn't really realize it until taking a second to step back and look at what I've created. And I think magazines in itself is just an art form and um, creating an issue literally by yourself with one other person is an art form. And I think, um, I don't know, everyone's kind of picky about what the definition of art really is, but I guess to me, art is a physical object that represents something, I guess vaguely, and that's what I've been doing. <laughs> Without a doubt, the most rewarding moment in my whole career was last September when we finally printed this issue. This is our first ever print issue, and it was our first ever distributed issue, so it was in stores nationwide, I think uh, internationally as well. And when I saw it, it was I actually started to cry because it was like everything that I had been through with my parents not understanding, with my friends not understanding, with um, money issues, just all the normal problems you have trying to get a business off the ground. It's like this reconfirmed that I was doing something right. And all of a sudden I'm like bumping shoulders with Oscar de la Renta and Nicki Minaj and sitting in front of Anna Wintour. And I think that was like the first experience where, where I really knew that um, I wanted to do nothing else with my life. Growing up in school, I had friends but I was never really like anybody else, I don't think. And that's why I had so much free time, is because I didn't really have that much of a social life. I'm not gonna say that I was like a hermit crab, but I always felt different than everyone, and still even sometimes in this industry, I still feel like an outcast sometimes. I do think that Tumblr specifically is a way for me to find a community that I, that I um, relate to. I do think that the internet has been a way for me to not feel so different or crazy. Everyone in the world is basically on the internet, so you basically have an outlet to the world if you're uh, making or creating really cool things. And um, if you have taste and if you're good at it, people will find uh, what you're uh, creating. I always tell people that uh, email me for advice that if you don't have some sort of internet project going on right now, you're seriously missing out. It was April of my senior year and I had two months until I graduated and I hadn't applied to any colleges and I hurried up and applied to FIT, and I told myself, I was like, if I don't get accepted to FIT, I'm just gonna pursue this full time. My parents are just gonna have to deal with it. I have to live for myself. I can't live for anyone else. Now I'm here today, and I'm really happy with all the decisions I've made. A lot of the times when you do wanna pursue something in the creative industry, um, 
yeah, your resume, if you say that you were in college, you got this degree or whatever, that might help you land the interview. But at the end of the day, it's really gonna be your talent, I believe, that gets you the job. Sometimes I do actually uh, get way too into my head, honestly, and wonder what the hell I'm doing, because it, it is really hard. Even when your business is growing and a lot of people are seeing lots of success behind the scenes, no matter what company it is, there's a lot of struggles. But at the end of the day, when I look back at all the things that I've done, and um, when I am having a rough night and it's been a bad work day and I'm able to look through my issues, even just look through my email and see all the people that I'm interacting with that two, three years ago I would have dreamed to work with. Uh, I think you just have to have a strong mindset and a strong sense of who you are. And if you have those two things, then uh, powering through the bullshit might be tough, but you can, you can do it.